Well, hey there, Cancer. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader. And this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Cancer for the week of January 24th. If this one isn't resonating so much with you, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings. If you happen to be a cross watcher, keep in mind that the energies here could be reversed or flip flopped. So assign the roles as they make sense to you. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. My least expensive reading is $20 for a quick three card reading. Um, if you would like the extended reading, you can get that by clicking the join button down below. If you're on an iPhone, it isn't going to show up. You'll have to be on a desktop to see it. Um, that will give you access to all of the extended readings for every single sign. All right, we're looking at the overall energy here, Cancer. Uh, please like and subscribe while I have you here since I post every single week. I think... I think someone asked you for space here. Someone asked for space. You gave it to them or they gave it to you. And now there's some regret about it is what I feel like is going on here. We have stranded. Um, he's literally up a tree here. I think this is someone who is now feeling like, okay, great. Now what do I do? We have let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So seven of wands here is sometimes someone who feels backed into a corner. They feel defensive. They feel like, like almost like they're being pursued or something here. You can see he's behind these bars. We have the Four of Swords, which is resting, healing. It's a timeout or a break here. If this is your reading, the two of you are on a break. Five of Wands is conflict. It's Sometimes it's about romantic rivals, but more I feel like you're playing chess with each other here. Like there's there feels like a, a period of silence here, a period of quiet, and neither one of you is making a move right now. We've got the Three of Wands waiting for your ships to come in. Are you waiting to hear from them? Or are they waiting to hear from you? You both be like, maybe both of you are waiting on each other. Like I'm not going to be the first one who breaks. We have take a chance, risk, being strategic options, not showing hand gambling. Yeah. There is a sense of strategy here. Like you're playing poker with one another. Um, all right, let's take a look at this person's energy and then I'm going to clarify it. I'm doing a little bit shorter readings this week. All right. Okay, Cancer, this person's freaking out a little bit. We've got the Nine of Swords here, which is a super creepy in this deck. It's very big brother. It's worry, anxiety, fear, sleepless nights. Sometimes it's rumination or obsession. Like I can't stop thinking about it. Temperance card in reserve, uh, reverse, Sagittarius energy. That's definitely a card of being patient. I think they've been very patient in assuming that you're coming towards them, that you'll be the one to break the silence, that you're going to be the one to contact them, and that hasn't happened. And I do think it's messing with their head here. Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior card. It's someone who hasn't given up on the relationship. They're tired but they're still carrying a torch for you. And I don't think you see this coming, but they're planning on doing something here. The Ace of Wands is the start of a new cycle. Wands are very action oriented though. It's taking action, it's moving forward. You have communication with the Page of Wands. It's Leo, Sag, Aries energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign here. Page of Wands is a desire to try a new path, follow a new path here. I think what they did here wasn't working, and now they're they're getting ready to do something else. The Emperor is Aries energy. It's the divine masculine, the father, the husband. It's about bringing order to chaos. The Emperor takes control of a situation. 
I think they feel like they need to do something here or this is going to get out of hand. Maybe they feel like you might move on to somebody else or maybe they see you talking with other people. I don't know. Um, let's clarify all of this and see what comes out. Okay, what is going on with Cancer's person? Well, we've got the Fool. Uh, that is Aries energy. It's being brave, being bold, taking a risk, uh, trusting in the universe. They're getting ready to take a leap here. Um, Well, we've got the Ten of Wands. They're feeling burdened. Uh, the Ten of Wands is kind of an exhausted feeling. <sighs> Maybe they thought that you would break before now, like you would reach out, that you would work on this. And now they're they're starting to just, I don't know, they're, they're feeling this ending with you. They're feeling the burden of it. Ten of Wands can also mean doing some heavy lifting here on a relationship. They may be willing to do a lot of work here. Well, we've got the Five of Cups showing up, and we have the Emperor again. So this is someone who has got a plan here. They, they're planning on doing something. They want to end this fight with you. They have regrets about how things went down. Um, I will say that the Emperor is very stubborn energy, and that could be what got the two of you in trouble. This person may be just a very stubborn person. What is Cancer's person planning on doing? Okay, we've got the Three of Wands here. That is manifesting. It's waiting for your ships to come in. For some of you, this is a long-distance relationship. I don't think that waiting has worked here. have the king of swords aquarius gemini libra energy you could be dealing with an air sign king of swords is very logical very head over heart um very smart very intelligent it's a specifically an aquarius uh card i wonder if this person has been very head over heart in the past if they've been very logical um and I don't think it's serving them particularly well here. What is this person planning on doing here? Well, they've got a plan. Knight of Coins, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. They could be an earth sign or have earth in their chart. But the Knight of Coins is someone who crosses their T's and dots their I's. They've checked the Yelp reviews. It's the man or the woman with a plan here. They can't do nothing because I don't think nothing is working. You're not breaking. You're not reaching out to them. Well, they have an apology here with that five of wands. Five of wands in reverse is ending a fight or ending a conflict here. Sometimes a five of wands is about romantic rivals. Hmm. 
We've got the Page of Swords. They're keeping an eye on you. They're watching you. And the Chariot. They're about to come towards you. This is your card, by the way. Uh, you're in their energy. I don't think they can stop thinking about you. They're going to approach you here. They're just figuring out the best way to do it. Um, in the extended reading, I'm going to talk about this person's feelings for you, their actions slash intentions. And I want to give you some advice too. We're going to pull some cards for that. If you want to order your own reading, you can find that down below. Thank you so much for watching and blessed be.